If you're anything like me, then you are deeply interested in technology like OpenAI's ChatGPT. However, you're also deeply perplexed on what implications this has, both on the spiritual and the entrepreneurial level, for your life and your business. So that's exactly what we're going to get into today. But before we get into any of that, first let's catch everyone up to speed on what exactly is ChatGPT. Well, let's hear from the OpenAI CEO, Sam Altman himself, with a brief clip. Uh, like a human level chat bot interface that actually works this time around. Like I, I think like you know many of these trends that like, we all made fun of were just too early. Like the chatbot thing was good, it was just too early. Um, now it can work. So now let's discuss the implications this has in three components. First, as a student, for me, a medical student. Secondly, entrepreneur and business owners and creators. And lastly, with the spiritual awakening that we are all as souls going through. Why exactly am I going to medical school? Why is anyone going to school? Are we going to learn so that we can get a, a cushion job where we simply have to recall the mass amounts of information that's coming from our past years of study and applying this into the present active situation? Well, now potentially ChatGPT can do that much more efficiently and effectively than any human being. Or on the other side of the spectrum, are we going to school so that we can increase the mental bandwidth of information, of content, of anything and everything that we are able to take in, digest, and interpret and apply through proper modes of using our brains. <laughs> Overall, there are two perspectives that we can have in this time. We can A, be upset and consider the implications that are coming onto us of, oh, am I about to spend all this money and all this time and effort going to school only to be replaced by a machine? Or on the other side of the spectrum, we can be excited, we can be energized by the fact that we'll have the knowledge of a doctor at our fingertips available available to us 24 7 and it is this mindset between the two the duality of both that lead me into the next part which is the entrepreneurial implications that chat gpt and other technological innovation has on our lives as business owners as ones leading the spearhead that is creating a vision forming a team to fuel that vision into reality so with that being said let's first show a clip here by chamath palapatia and he discusses a unique spin to this whole new market that is emerging from what OpenAI has just released. I think we're going to replace SaaS with what I call mass, which is models as a service. And so, you know, a lot of what software will be, particularly in the enterprise, will get replaced with a single use model that allows you to solve a function. So these chat examples are one, and you can name a bunch of SaaS companies that were purveyors of SaaS that'll get replaced by essentially GPT-3 or some other language model. So perhaps now is not the time to make rash and abrupt changes and decisions, but we must take into account the direction of investor money, of technological products and services that are being readily available to ourselves and at the enterprise level. We must take this into account and how it affects us as business owners, especially those just now starting out without a billion dollars of investment from Microsoft and other companies like that. We must play a role in building the future that we seek without being replaced by massive conglomerates and other corporate entities such as OpenAI and its counterparts. We have to go within and identify what pivots, what potential additions to our current business models, our plans and trajectory forward must be molded to what is now currently available to us and where things are going. Of course, things take time, but on the scale of OpenAI, how much time do we really have? <laughs> All right, let's scale it back a little bit. Sorry, I had to get that out of my system. But the take-home message here is that the future is foggy. There are these massive organizations with the public perception going, driving them forward. However, we must stand strong. We must have faith in our ability to keep the project moving forward. No matter what new technology comes in, we have to stay adaptable, stay active on our toes, and constantly increase our ability to understand technology as it arises, meet those with a specialized skill to help build these products into reality and mold our businesses into what they now need to be. All right, perhaps that does not apply to you, but now let's get into the spiritual implications, which are intertwined with all the topics I just talked about. Right now, the NPCs are going through an awakening. <laughs> those of us that have been buried deep into the matrix and grinding for this material wealth and all that, we are recognizing that everything's going to be disrupted. 
we are recognizing that our cushion jobs are being disrupted. Everything that we thought was secure with our future is now being changed before our very eyes. While everybody thought that technology like this would disrupt the blue car color jobs and not the white color jobs of those creating it, now the world is being turned upon its head and what are we going to do about that? Growing up, it has been clear that the rate of technological innovation and application in our daily lives are changing at an ex exponential pace. And with this rate of change happening, looking back 20 years, what does the next 20 years look like? I think we all understand that at a conceptual level, but now I think we're beginning to see it playing out before our very eyes. And this is causing us all to question reality in one degree or another. At least it's opening the eyes of those that perhaps had them shut wide open before. Now again, let me dial this back and go over some of the applications of ChatGPT that could aid in your spiritual awakening, more so at the actual practical level. And here I can show it's applying different examples of topics that one could ask ChatGPT in terms of trying to aid in their understanding of themselves, this world that we inhabit, and how we can function best in harmony with ourselves. However, we have to recognize that most every answer is given with a caveat of there's not scientific evidence to, to prove this or disprove this or whatever, so we have to recognize at the end of the day this is not a one catch-all, the one solution that we truly desire, and we have to go within and understand that that's never going to be the case, <laughs> no matter how far we get, as long as we're putting our weight and our, our focus and the reward in an external individual, product, anything, then that's where we're going to fall short. We have to go within and recognize that anything we want to ask ChatGPT, we have within ourselves to one degree or another. So I will close by saying that the future is unclear, but that opens up the door to possibility for you and me to take action and build the future that we so want to be a part of. And we can build anything we want. We have to recognize these trends that are happening before our very eyes and play a part in harmony with them. Because if we are competing against these massive corporations, there's a chance but it's slim to none. <laughs> that doesn't mean that we should be beat up and down about it all, but we don't want to sit back and be passive to everything that's going on, whether we lose our day jobs, our trajectory forward, or what have you. We still have ambition, we still have faith in ourselves, and we still have us with the human spirit. Go within and, and do whatever you need to do. <laughs> Goodbye.